Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know, and we're gonna do a little weekend of my life because uh, I'm home alone, I'm bored, and there's a tropical storm happening like somewhere in the Gulf, so we're getting the like outskirts of it all, so I'm kind of stuck inside in the rain. And not just like normal rain, like it is definitely stormy outside that like, I can't even see out my window, so it's a little dangerous, but we're gonna, we're gonna make the best of it. I've no one to talk to. Justin is out of town working all day. So I figured I'll talk to you guys. So um, I'm just gonna bring you along for the weekend. We have a lot to get done, which I've been saving up for this weekend because I knew I was gonna be home alone doing nothing. And uh, because of that, I've filled up my schedule. So we're gonna be like completely cleaning out and reorganizing my vanity, my part of the bathroom, and just like, even just the living room and stuff like I just have stuff everywhere it just accumulates and I'm done doing that because you want to know a very sad life update mm, I think we're staying in this apartment another year I literally said I refuse to sign another lease but um I guess we'll sit and chat about that real quick um so you guys know I'm sure that the housing market is absolute trash right now and I feel like a couple months ago if you would have asked me or even like a year ago, I wanted a house. It's kind of like a measure of success. Like I wanted to be like, I want to buy a house. Like I want to do this. And I literally refused to do anything else because I just really wanted that to happen. But it's not a smart financial decision because um, the housing market is crazy right now. I would have to probably bid way higher than the houses should even be going for. And then because they're so high right now, what if they don't hold their value and I end up losing out a ton of money and the houses within like our price range that we were looking at should not even be close to that price. And they sold for like a few years ago for like literally half that price. Like I was looking at a townhouse that was going for 450 and it sold, I wanna say like 2019 for literally like 200 something. So I was like, okay. Luckily I've been in this apartment for so long now that my rent is still kind of cheap, especially compared to everything else living in Miami. So I think we decided that it is the smartest and best decision to stay in the apartment, at least to sign another lease, and then we can continue looking for houses as we go, but we would just be moving into a house that's probably worse than the apartment, and it wouldn't be worth it. So that's the unfortunate plan. Um, I still don't have a closet light, my washer's broken, Justin's still like allergic to something in the air here. We hate this apartment, but I guess if this is the worst case scenario, we have a place to live in Miami. And I guess that's good enough for now. Because we haven't officially, like I haven't signed the new lease yet, but I, I don't think there's anything else we're gonna do. So because we're staying here, I figured let's at least clean it out, make it feel better, and then maybe that'll help ease the fact that we're here another year. Uh, I don't wanna be here. But okay, that was my little life update rant. This video is already like five minutes long because I've been talking for so long. So. Let's go get started. I really hope the rain stops because I really want Thai food for lunch and I feel bad making my Uber Eats driver drive through this and I'm not going, so let's hope it stops. So here's the current state of the bedroom. It doesn't look too bad. You know, we got little things here and there, but then you get to this corner. This was my corner where literally everything went when I couldn't fit another hanger in my closet and then I ended up cleaning out my closet and then I never ended up putting this stuff away. So this is what we're gonna first tackle. There's a lot of just like clothing that I got sent that I knew that I just couldn't put away. Now I need to put all that away and just, just sort through all of this. So here we go. Okay, at least everything is cleared out here. I have tons and tons of clothes to put away, which I knew this was going to happen because I knew I've been piling it up for a while, but like... I hope all of this fits. Like my bathing suits, I clean them out. And I still feel like they're suffocating in here and I can't fit anymore, but I somehow have to fit all of these. So we're gonna try to make that work without making this a mess. Somehow we made it work. They're like literally suffocating. There's no room. I don't know what else to do with them though. Because I like how when they're in the drawer, I can see every single one of them, but like the drawer's full. I'm not gonna take up another drawer. I feel like that's an issue, but. That's an issue for another day because it fits today. We did it. Everything's put away. I think the plan is to stay in this corner. Down here, I have like 
my designer, like not designer bags, like these ones that stuff just comes in and they're cute. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna keep them and use them as storage. Well, I've stored like this one has mail that has been sitting in here for three years that I've never touched. So like clearly I don't need it. So I just need to clean all those out and that way I can actually use them for storage for stuff that I need and not just like, there's so much stuff in here that I don't even know where anything is. So that's all we're gonna tackle next. So much better. I have them instead of all in a stack on the end, just kind of shoved back there. They're all cleaned out. I know where everything is. I think next up, Lexi, when she was here cleaning out, helping me clean out my closet, we organized this drawer, so that one's good. These though are all a mess. Like I can barely even open my makeup drawer. And this stuff I feel like needs to go in the drawers. It's also kind of sunny out now. So I did in fact order my Thai food for lunch, but I think what I need to do is like, I feel like I need more organizers in order to keep this organized. So I don't know, maybe when I clean stuff out, I'll notice that I just don't need that much stuff. But I think maybe we might make a trip to Home Goods to get some organizers. And to be honest, I haven't been there in like months. So since we have to stay in this apartment that I don't love, maybe I'll go to Home Goods and get some new stuff to kind of like spice it up to make me excited about living here. I don't even know if that's possible, but We'll see. Um, so I think first I'm just gonna clean everything out, but then what am I gonna do? Like leave everything sitting out? Or maybe like I'll put it away. I don't know, we need to figure it out. So here's before of the hair drawer. It needs major help. This wasn't as satisfying as I'd like it to be. I feel like I could definitely use one more organizer. I don't know, but like it's definitely better than it was. This one, I can barely even open. This one's gonna take, oh goodness, a lot of work. This is my makeup drawer. And I don't touch half this stuff, so I will, it, it just needs cleaned out. Okay, JK, we're taking a little pause because the food's about to get here, so we're gonna eat some lunch. I need to get some water ready. I really hope this food is good. The Thai restaurant I normally go to just doesn't exist anymore, so I looked up a random one on Uber Eats, yelped it, looked pretty good, so hopefully it lives up to that. All right, looks pretty good to me. I wanted to customize it. Oh, hold on. I wanted to customize it without bean sprouts, but it didn't give me an option. So I'm really glad they're separate. So I can just take them off. But started the new episode or the new season of The Circle. We're gonna watch that and eat. Okay, we're back. Food, I'd give it like a seven out of 10. It was good, better than the average Thai food, I guess, but like also nothing special. Anyway, I got it from Moon Thai, if you're interested. Um, you're probably not. <laughs> anyway, we're getting back to the makeup drawer, so. Um, Okay, I have everything out of the drawer, and I'm actually cleaning out my, like, everyday... Look at how gross this is. Something clearly exploded. Um, I don't know the best way to go about cleaning this. I'm gonna try to just, like... So we're gonna, we're gonna be stuck here a little bit. Okay, at least that's working, but, like, that is nasty. I don't know how it went from the before to this, but I just took all the additional... So this is, like, my makeup I actually use every time I do my makeup bag. These are lashes, and then I have, like, little under eye patches. That's a palette with like fun colors that I wanna keep. And then this is all makeup that I've either used before and will probably use again, but just don't use on an everyday basis. And I had that extra makeup bag, so I just shoved it all into there. I don't know how that went from what it was to this, but I'm not complaining. I do have tons of room now though, so I feel like I need to fill this up with something because this next drawer, oh, it closed so nicely. Okay. This next drawer looks like this. I kind of want to throw up at this. This drawer is a little bit of everything. Like I have my little hair rubber bands, which should probably go in the hair drawer. And I try to put them in there. Like technically I have room, but that'll probably get more cluttered unless I get another organizer. Butterfly clips, um, jewelry, more jewelry that I haven't touched since like seventh grade. So why do I have it? I don't know. What else do we have in here? Oh, an empty box. I'm really glad I kept that one. Crazy what you find when you're cleaning stuff out. I thought someone stole this from me. It's like my Louis Vuitton locket. It needs clean, that's for sure. But I do have a jewelry cleaner. I found some really big hoops. I don't know if I've ever worn those. Super big. A necklace that says my name. So, wow, my Kendra Scott necklace. Should have done this a long time ago. The chokehold that this necklace used to have on me. This is hideous. This is so gaudy. Jewelry's at least organized in this, but like we're definitely at a standstill right now. It's sunny again. We're gonna change. We're gonna go to Home Goods. I have no idea how many organizers I need. I just looked at my bathroom cover and it is a disaster. So I'm just gonna get a lot. And if I have extra, I'm sure Justin can use them somewhere or I could probably use them somewhere else. 
we're gonna change because one, the slippers are knotted, and two, um, I'm cold everywhere I go here because they have the air blasting and my nipples are gonna be just poking, staring at everyone in the store. And we don't want that, so we're gonna change into something better. I know I wear this outfit literally all the time, but it's the ideal fit because it's cropped. So like, it's fine to wear when it's 90 degrees out, but it has a hood just in case it rains again. And it has little shorts and the shorts have pockets. So like when I'm shopping, I can actually put my phone somewhere and we're good to go. So I think this is what we're wearing. Everyone always asks where it's from. It's from Revolve something. I don't know what brand. Lovers and Friends on Revolve. Um, all right. It is nice and sunny outside. My hair is definitely greasy, but I don't think we care. I think we're just gonna hope I don't see anyone I know and make it in and out of there nice and swift. That was insane. Throughout the store wasn't that bad, but the line to check out, if you know how like TJ Maxx and Home Goods worked, so it was looped around four times, just like in the actual cash register line, and then it went back through the store. So that was a lot. I was in line for like 40 minutes, but I think we got what we needed. They didn't have a lot of small ones, so I might have to get some of those off Amazon, but I got a lot of big ones, which I think will be good. We'll see when we get home. I didn't measure anything, so will they even fit? I don't know, but whew, we deserve Starbucks after that. Hi, can I have a venti matcha lemonade with four pumps of raspberry and then a birthday cake pop? That'll be all? That'll be all. It's 35. Thank you. Okay, I was a little stressed there for a second. Look what I just had to drive through. It was like that for, I had to go to Justin's old house to pick up a package and then from his house to mine, that whole neighborhood was like a literal body of water. So I was driving like negative two miles an hour, but I did get the goods, already devoured the cake pop, and we got we got the package, secured everything, and now we are finally back home. It's not even, like, it's beautiful out right now. It's literally sunny, and there's no flooding anywhere else I went, but that neighborhood was insane. Okay, you literally can't see me, so I now have to carry all this in. Ooh, my eyes look kind of pretty in the light. Um, I now have to carry all this in uh, multiple flights of stairs by myself. This is when I always regret doing things like this. This is why I get everything delivered because I don't want to be the one to do this. We'll do a little haul of what I got because I got severely stressed out in the store and showed literally nothing. So, um, I got this drawer organizer. I think this is going to be for like the bathroom. It has a thicker drawer and then a little one. I think that'll be good to keep things organized. I got all the acrylic organizers. I'm like sitting on the tile right now and it really hurts. Why am I doing this? I got all the acrylic organizers from the brand called... Bino, B-I-N-O. So I got this one. Uh, I think I got that for free. <laughs> Cause that was stuck inside the other one. And I thought so, I was like, why do these look different? Um, so I got that one, but I got two of these ones. And then I got what I think is the same, but just came cheaper in packs of two. So like four more of those. Three big ones, this will be for like the um, cupboard in the bathroom because I know I'm just gonna have so many products that at least if they're somewhat organized like this, it'll make me feel better. These, I don't know if I can really use these for much because they are kind of deep, but I know this guest bathroom also has no organization, so I figured it didn't hurt. Will I go back to return it? No, I always say I'm going to. Probably never will even if I don't use it. And then these are going to be for the living room, which actually match really well. So I'm very excited about that. So we'll get into that later. I cannot believe that I just had to drive through a literal body of water to get back here. That was stressful. Luckily I was on the phone with Lexi. So I was just like trying to distract myself and talk about whatever, but that was hectic. This is so much better. It's still like chaos, but at least it's organized chaos and like everything has a place. I wish that this wasn't visible because this is kind of just like all my like travel stuff that I don't really know where else to put it and I can't really hide it any more than like I don't know I, unless maybe if I move I don't know maybe we'll play Tetris a little bit okay I guess this is a little better it's at least more hidden back there and now this one I don't even this is so bad I don't even know what's in here I save every card from anyone ever and it's just in here my diploma's in here this needs a lot of help Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna do here. This bin is all electronics. I have like my important folders, diploma, all that stuff under there. And then this is obviously the best book ever. It's 10 out of 10 recommend if you're single going through a breakup or you're just like a woman in your 20s, 10 out of 10 recommend that book. But cards from every human being that I care about in the slightest, just in case I wanna get their handwriting tattooed on me. But that is officially, no, come on. Okay, I need to find something else for the book. I guess technically like there. Oh. 
may need to fix this. So technically, besides what's out here right now, but like these all have a home somewhere else. Did find a $50 Amazon gift card, so we love that. Um, I think the vanity's done. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these stickers. I guess I should put them back in that drawer because I don't know where they're going. This goes in the bathroom. Okay, well like, I think it's time to move on to the bathroom, which I've been dreading. Because this is hands down the worst. I don't think I've ever organized it ever in the history of moving in. Hi, chicken. Um, it's really bad. I, you ready to see it? This is so bad. It just keeps getting worse. Like, I probably have so many good products in here that I don't even know if I've ever touched because I can't find them because I have way too many. Um, see, like, that is, like, my nail bin, so that's kind of organized already. I think we're going to start with the bottom drawer and just go shelf by shelf and, like, literally take everything out, clean out what I want, what I don't want, and then reorganize it. The good news is we still have lots of these left because also part of this, I guess, would have to be this, too, which has... Just about zero organization to it, so we're gonna try to use some of those there. This is, this was the biggest task. I knew the vanity wasn't gonna be that bad. It is already 8 p.m. today somehow, but listen, I'm on a roll. We're gonna finish this tonight. We are doing so good. So this is all nail stuff with extra hair stuff. This is an entire hair shelf. This is like, these are like my everyday products, so that's why I have like the drawers hidden. And then these are like makeup wipes, razors, other random things, like more tooth stuff. I don't know, just like products, just organized products. I am not ready to tackle these two because it is a mishmash of everything. We did it successfully. Well, we still have more, but at least what we were working on. Okay, so top shelf. I like to keep at least like one of these empty or at least have room for like brand deals or PR and stuff that I get that I don't want to lose and I want to keep it together in a certain spot. I like to all keep it there. Then here I have like a hair bin in the back, a self tanning like skin bin. It really doesn't look much different. I don't know, I didn't take a picture before and after so maybe it does, but I at least cleared up a ton of room because now I can fit my Dyson in there, which is awesome because before it was just sitting out here. This trash really needs emptied. But the bathroom is complete. It is 9.51. Um, I'm gonna do the living room real quick because I only have like two things I need to organize. And then I need to eat and just chill for the night, but we're on a roll. Once I'm started, I literally can't stop. I have these two gray bins, that way it actually matches, but okay, you wanna focus a little bit? I always have like my electronics here, my iPad, my camera, this camera that you're currently on is normally there and my laptop goes there and I just don't like when it's out. And we also just have little things like the, the massage gun, the Oculus that just need a place to go. So I think those bins are, I believe they fit under there. I think they're big enough that I can just store things in it so it just looks more organized. Okay, you can't even tell. I couldn't all get them to fit, but that looks so much better. I wish I would've got two of the same size because I got one big one, one little one, just in case. And I definitely think two of the bigger ones would've been better, but it's fine. Look at what's behind me. This is all products that were like expired, half open, half gone, that are just not good anymore. And like two huge bags full of that. That's what I cleaned out of the bathroom. Insane. I do have a ton of good, unopened, not used, like skincare, makeup, so many products that I have like a huge drawer full in that room of stuff for like a giveaway and everything. So let me know how I should do that. If you guys have ideas, I don't really know. They're always kind of a mess. They never work out as well as you want them to, but I have so many products that I literally save for giveaways that I need to do. So let me know if you know the best way to do that down below, but I'm going to end this for the night. I will see you tomorrow. I feel like I lived literally seven days in one day today, but I'm very proud of myself. We've made so much progress. I've literally been putting this off for years, not even like weeks, months, no, literally years. So it feels so good to get it done. And now we're just gonna chill for a little bit. Good morning. It is now like 11.30 and uh, just kind of getting the day started. I was up until like 2 a.m. last night, just laying in bed, tried to go to sleep like four times, wasn't happening, kept scrolling through TikTok, almost planned an entire trip. I don't really know why. I think it was because I had my matcha literally with my dinner, the rest of it at like 10 p.m. So I just was caffeinated and wired and ready to go. But yesterday, was a lot of work, <laughs> a lot. But uh, do you see this? Do you see this weather outside? It is beautiful outside. You know what that means? We're gonna reward ourselves with a pool day. Now I hate going to the pool on the weekends because I feel like it's gonna be crowded, but most Floridians try to dodge the heat and like all the families and stuff will go to the pool near like sunset. 
hopefully that's what i'm telling myself so then hopefully i'll have to fold myself ish so now this is the hard part of picking out a bathing suit i have no idea which one i think we're gonna go with this green little flower one I'm trying really hard not to mess up the other piles no 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 wrong one this one this one yeah there we go i think that's what i'm going with got everything gonna fill up the water alexa what's the temperature outside right now it's 86 degrees fahrenheit alexa what's the uv index outside right now right now there's an extreme risk from uv exposure with the uv index of 11. hi i'm not okay i think i was out there for like the minute exactly an hour basically i'm dying i think we got some good color though pretty good pretty good um there were definitely some families there so i did not turn to tan my back because my butt cheeks were out and i didn't want to be that girl at the family pool so i'm dying oh my god i don't think i can wear this shirt anyway while i was there i ordered some groceries to be delivered to meet me at the house so we'll do a little grocery haul i got some diced onions and peppers because we have italian sausage that we haven't made yet so i figured that'd be a good dinner this week also got mozzarella cheese for that and then i got imitation crab my pad thai yesterday came jesus with rice and i think i'm gonna make like crab poke bowls which i'm very excited for we got some shrimp because i don't know we like shrimp and i feel like we eat chicken and like beef all the time so it's nice to throw in another kind of like protein i got some Sun-dried tomato pesto, which I love to just use this as a pasta sauce. Honestly, I'll probably do that for dinner today. I have not had it in a while, and I love it. It's so good. Then got some hot yum-yum. I put this on my poke bowls as well. I wish I could find, like, Japanese mayo or do, like, sriracha mayo or spicy mayo, but Publix didn't have a Japanese mayo, and I didn't want to try to make it when I know that it's already good with the yum-yum. So we'll do that. I'll show you how I make those. I also already have avocados that are good. That's kind of what sparked. The whole idea and then i got hoagie rolls for the sausage and pepper sandwiches and then last thing are these ahas because i love these are like hands down my favorite sparkling water these okay no i like these i just like this flavor specifically the peach and honey i also love lacroix some flavors and bubbly so i guess i really don't have a favorite sparkling water i just like this flavor of this one specifically but i love the like lime orange very hint of fruit flavored lacroix also i'm dying do you see how much i'm sweating i guess i can put this close this i'm done there um i'm very oily very sweaty my leg hair is also definitely overstayed its welcome so i think we're gonna shower i don't i probably should wash my hair it hasn't been that long i don't think i'm gonna wash it yet so i'm going to body shower shave my legs probably take a cold shower because i'm dying and then we'll make some lunch Okay, I look like an egg. Ignore that. My hair's so sweaty. It's just back in the clock. But I'm basically making a California roll in a poke bowl. So I have the imitation crab. You could totally just use it raw. But I just have it. I cut it up in little pieces. I just have it frying up with some butter right now to cook it up a little bit. I just personally like it that way. And then I'm going to cut up an avocado, put that in, and then I think do a little scoop of... Good God. Yeah, I'm just going to heat it up a little bit because it's kind of stuck and hard. Um, Do a little scoop of cream cheese and then... Season it up, soy sauce, yum yum on top. Okay, it really doesn't look that pretty, but it tastes so good, so. I think I'm just gonna chill for a minute, eat this, probably watch the circle. I have some pictures to edit, some like TikToks and reels, and just stuff to do that's not entertaining to vlog. So I'm gonna do that for a little bit and then we'll pick this back up when I'm doing something fun. All right, I'm bored, I wanna be productive. We're gonna finish cleaning, starting with, I think I have the dishwasher running. I think we're gonna start with the boxes, because I have quite a lot to break down. Okay, I did it. Oh, I can't see. That is one thing I will miss about living in an apartment is we have someone come pick up our trash and any cardboard boxes that we break down every single day. So I never have to go to the dumpster and it's fantastic. Anyway, next up on the list, I think I'm just gonna vacuum everywhere. And while I vacuum, I'm gonna blast some music, jam out, have some fun. We are stuck distant outside In traffic Or is it just me? I think we did it. The kitchen all clean. The living room. Look, 
looks great. Cloud looks cute as always. The bedroom, I'm not so worried about the covers. So I'm literally gonna sleep in those, so it's not gonna make a difference, but these are all clean. Okay, that's really streaky still. Might need to fix that, but this mirror, this is the cleanest I think this mirror has ever been. Like, you can't even tell that's a mirror. That is fantastic. Okay, now what? Also, I play like my music decently loud when I'm cleaning because you know, I'm like vacuuming, you need to hear it over that. I wonder if my neighbors can hear it because I bet they think I went through like a major breakup every time I clean because something about breakup music just is so fun to sing. Why can't people make happy love songs the same way they make like Unfaithful by Rihanna? Like I wanna sing, or even Driver's License. Like I wanna sing at the top of my lungs. Those songs are just so fun to sing. And even when I showed you like my cue at the beginning, everyone's probably like, ooh, who broke her heart? No one. I'm great, we're happy, we're healthy, we're doing fantastic over here. Just love singing songs like that. Um, this place looks so good right now. I'm very happy. I hope it looks like this still in the morning. Um, I don't really know what's next. I am kind of dreading editing a video because I just don't want to sit down and do that. I feel like that's a good like nighttime activity when it gets darker and I feel like it's so nice out still, but like, what the heck am I going to do? I have done nothing but do my eyebrows. I think that's basically it. I did other things kind of, I guess, but like, look at them. I tried really hard on them. Um, now we're gonna make some pasta because what else would I eat for dinner when I'm home alone? I just know I'm not gonna wanna cook and clean later, so I'd rather cook now while I have energy so I can clean the dishes so the kitchen still looks nice. I don't really know. I think Justin, he flies out at like 6 a.m. So he'd get here probably by like, probably get to the house close to like nine. So yeah, probably as soon as I wake up, it's like golden hour outside. I just sat on the balcony for a little bit. It was super nice. Um, if you can't tell, I'm clearly bored being home alone, which is why I'm just telling you guys about my day because I'm so used to having Justin here. I'm so used to talking to someone. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty sunset actually. I wish I was somewhere that I could actually see it and enjoy it. I wish I wasn't such a wimp and could actually go to the beach by myself at night, but hmm, too scared for that. So that's not happening, I guess. I think that's everything. If I think of anything else, I'm sure I'll tell you. And bon appetit. Um, I just used that sun-dried tomato pesto and it's so good. It's like 8.30 now. I think I'm just gonna eat this watch the circle, get some work done, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for spending time with me this weekend. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. We should do it again sometime. It was a fun time. Thanks for keeping me company. Um, give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that, and I'll see you in the next video.